ठीक है तो उन्हें तो आवाज आ रही है यस अच्छा सुखा बॉक्स लेके आ Now, carboxylic acids were your uh, uh, your functional group. What was it? It was acetyl bond O and O H. Okay, so it was R C double bond O and O H. Okay, that was what a what a carboxylic acid would look like. Uh, it's a it's a highly polar compound. It's capable of forming uh, hydrogen bonds. So if somebody is going to tell you to um, to show hydrogen bonds with water, uh, because of hydrogen bonds, it's going to have high melting and boiling points. So high melting and boiling points. Plus, it's going to have uh, it's going to have. Uh, going to mix it's going to be very soluble in water tk that's another thing that's going to happen tk so it's going to be very highly soluble in water so that's uh, that's your that's your carboxylic acid you must say good so that's your that's your carboxylic acid uh carboxylic acids first thing uh is that they the weak acids uh weak acids means uh okay, they ionize partially they are considered to be the strongest of the weak acids i mean they they classified as acidic uh the ph is around uh like i guess uh 3 to 7 uh they partially ionize and produce fewer h plus 1 ions so they partially dissociate and produce fewer h positive Ions. Uh, so they have the weak acids. Uh, so this is the equation for dissociation. Like if you've got a carboxylic acid, to ye jo which wala H na this is the one that's going to dissociate, and it's going to be, it's going to be a reversible reaction. It's going to become R C double bond O and O minus one. And the H plus one will dissociate. Okay, that's what's going to happen. Uh, so it's a weak acid. Okay, everyone knows it's a weak acid. There's no, nothing there. Uh, since it's an acid, it's got a couple of reactions. Uh, so I'm going to start writing those reactions. The first one is with uh, with metals. So what happens when a metal reacts with an acid? It produces. So it's going to produce salt plus H two. Okay, that's uh, that's the first reaction, and this is how the reaction will happen. That if you've got a carboxylic acid, okay, C O O H, so jo N wala H na this one, if it reacts with a with a metal uh, like sodium, then that H gets displayed displaced and it will form a salt. And plus H two gas is produced half moles. Okay, so that's uh that's the the action. Let's go see, Karle. 
So that's the reaction. Uh, yeah, empty position change kind of thing. So you guess so acid plus metal produces salt plus H2. Or exactly same, uh, you'll have uh, three, four more reactions. So I'll just, I'll just copy paste this and make a few more reactions. Which is the same jar or then usually typical acid based reactions. Um, So you've got acid plus metal. So change it. It's in capital curl. I said this one. I said the next one is uh, uh, second one, TK. You're the first. Eh? So the second second one is that it's a, it's a reaction of uh, acid plus metal oxide or metal hydroxides. TK, so you've got metal oxide or, or hydroxide. So how case it's it's going to be the same thing except the byproduct is going to be different. So metal hydroxide. Uh, so if I have uh, NaOH over here instead, the only difference is that you're going to have water now. Take care. Water is going to be your byproduct so it's going to be base plus acid produces uh salt plus, plus water tk Pelaglavala, that's also similar it's going to be the same salt everything will be the same except this is now with the with a carbonate the metal carbonate over the what will happen it's going to produce salt water and it will also produce carbon dioxide tk there's going to be water and it's carbon dioxide as well. As I said, uh, so carbonates, the third one is with, uh, with ammonia. Let's... So the fourth one, that's with... I said that's with ammonia. And that will result in the formation of an ammonium salt. So it will become NH4, NH4 plus one TK. So that's it. That's uh, that's your four typical acid-base reactions, TK. Uh, let's see. You clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said, I guess... Uh, uh, nothing else. Esters hai A2 me kis me X me dekh leto. So we did addition polymerization, so with that's done. ठीक है. ये सब हो गया. Nitriles. ये एक थोड़ा सा. recall the reaction of amines with uh, ethanol. Uh, uh, esters, recall the reaction of esters can produce, uh, describe the hydrolysis of esters, uh, dilute and alkaline. Okay. 
सुबील एस्टेस है कि प्राइमरी ऑक्सीडेशन वी डेड दैट न्यूट्रलाइजेशन वी डेड दैट ठीक है ऑल ऑफ दिस वी जस्ट डेड दैट एस्टिफिकेशन रिडक्शन हम पहले कर चुके हैं ठीक है सो सो वील जस्ट टू टू थिंग्स नाउ एंड वन वन ऑफ देम इज हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ नाइट्राइज हम बाद में करते हैं एक्चुअली लेट्स डू एस्टिफिकेशन ठीक है दैट्स ओ लेवल ठीक है नथिंग न्यू तो अच्छा एस्टिफिकेशन Uh, so what happens in acidification is ki uh uska bhi reaction simply all is wala that's uh, you take a carboxylic acid and you've got uh, an alcohol theek hai so this there has to be an alcohol so what happens is uh, that the oh and the h uh, they get lost ठीक है सो दिस इज वट गोज ऑन के जे इसका ओ एच एंड द एच ओवर हेयर दे एंड ऑफ फॉर्मिंग वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स बेसिकली वॉट हैपन इज कि योर योर कार्बन विच इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली पॉजिटिव गेट्स अट्रैक्टेड टू द लोन पे ऑन द ऑक्सीजन नेक्स्ट वॉर ठीक है दैट्स दैट इज बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स ऐसा लेकिन एनी वेज सो योर प्रोडक्ट विल बी एंड अप विद ड्रॉ कर लेते हैं सो वॉट विल हैपन इज यूल एंड अप विद एच एन ओच दिल एंड अपॉर्मिंग वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल इज गोइन बी अंसेशन रिएक्शन एंड द टू ग्रुप्स विल कम्बाइन तो ये जाके इट्स गोइन गो एंड बॉन्ड विद सो द लोन पेयर एंड द कार्बन विच इज पॉजिटिव दे गो टू गेट टूगेदर दे विल दे विल ज्वाइन विद ईच अदर तो दैट्स द एंड रिजल्ट ठीक है दैट्स दैट्स हाउ एन एस्टर गेट्स फॉर्मड uh the byproduct of this reaction is a water molecule that's going to be produced as a result to bas ye aapka reaction and remember it's a it's a reversible reaction so it can hope happen in both directions agar to niche ki taraf ho raha na so that would mean ke uh you need concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst and you would heat with reflux do you get that's what's going to happen ha huh, if you so that's that's your condensation reaction that's the formation of esters do you get that's as so that's condensation and the reverse can also happen ke reverse pe kya hoga ke uh, that's known as uh, hydrolysis ke reverse is ke you take the ester and you add the water molecule back again to usme h no h gets added back again that's uh, that's the exact a reverse theek hai to ye jo pehla tha na that was formation of esters you put like bhi dete hain theek hai this part was formation of और जो नेक्स्ट पार्ट है दैट इज ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ एस्टर्स व्हिच इज नोन एज हाइड्रोलिसिस ठीक है सो व्हाट हैपेंस इन हाइड्रोलिसिस इज इट्स हाइड्रो मींस हाइड्रोलिसिस मींस ब्रेक डाउन बाय एडिंग वाटर ठीक है सो व्हाट हैपेंस इन दिस केस इज दैट वाटर गेट्स एडेड एंड ये जो वाटर मॉलिक्यूल है इट्स गोइंग टू गेट एडेड टू दिस कार्बन ओवर हियर एंड इट्स गोइंग टू ब्रेक डाउन ठीक है तो वो एच एंड ओएच दे गो टू कम बैक ठीक है सो द टू विल मेक द एंट्री बैक तो वही आपका जो ओ एच एंड एच विल फॉर्म बैक एंड बीच में ना एस्टर लिंक में जाके देखो गेट एडेड दिस इज 
this is hydrolysis of of esters okay that's this part so when you want to hydrolyze esters uh the conditions that are required are that you can uh, either heat it with uh, any which aqueous. So there's alkaline hydrolysis and there's uh, acidic hydrolysis. So it's either any which aqueous and reflux and dilute TK or dilute uh, H2SO4. Aqueous and the condition is reflux. So you're gonna you're gonna get your uh, alcohol and carboxylic acid back again. Uh, may, what you have to be careful about is ke alkaline hydrolysis can then uh, this will react with excess alkali. So you're not going to get carboxylic acid because carboxylic acid is acidic. So in alkaline hydrolysis. Uh, the acid reacts with alkali. So you'll end up with a salt. Who C O O H keep it and it's going to be C O minus one and a plus one. Okay, it's going to end up reacting with the anyways. If K O H goes, it's going to be K plus one. Okay. So that's it. That's that's about it. That's esters. Okay. Uh, you need to know how to name esters. Syllabus uh, like how it's like you did that in O level. So how do you name esters? Basic esters. So naming of esters. Yeah, actually, we did We didn't. We didn't do this. So naming esters is that the ester is named. Like if I have a molecule, it's going to be simple ester. So if I have a molecule and it's an ester, so the ester is named in two parts. What two parts can it's around the ester link. So if I want to name this ester, there's going to be a part where uh, I've got uh, this thing and the other part is this thing. Based on the number of carbon atoms, you've got four carbon atoms over here. You've got uh, just one carbon atom over here. So the prefix for this one is going to be but, and the prefix for the other one will be meth. Up here, the end part. How do you end it? Uh, the double bond overly side, and that's going to be called uh, O8. Or the overly side, and that's going to be called while. Here, that's this is the carboxylic acid side. And that is your Ducy side. So that's how you're going to that's how you're going to name esters. That's uh, that's all of this TK. So it's gonna be called methyl butanoate. You be clear? Yes, sir. So that's hydrolysis of esters and uh esters um, when they undergo alkaline hydrolysis. Uh, you don't get a carboxylic acid. I mean, you should get a carboxylic acid, but it ends up forming the salt of the carboxylic acid. As I next is okay, next here. E correct. hydrolysis of nitriles. Okay. Yes, sir. So hydrolysis of nitriles.
अच्छा अब इसमें क्या हो रहा है हाइड्रोलिस सिंपली हैव अ नाइट्राइल एंड इट सिंपली टर्न्स इनटू ए कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ठीक है दैट्स अबाउट इट ठीक है सो यू गॉट सी ट्रिपल बॉन्ड एन और फिर इसका आप हाइड्रोलिस करते हो जस्ट टर्न इन टू वॉटर गेट्स एडेड इट टर्न इन कार्बोक्सिक एसिड एंड इट गिवस ऑफ प्रोड्यूस अमोनियम आइन्स एज वेल तो वॉटर गेट्स एडेड So there's a uh, either dilute acid like sulfuric acid plus reflux, or it's um, the other one, alkaline hydrolysis. So it's going to be dilute. Any which and reflux. Okay, so that's uh. Or it's maybe carefully to keep that. Okay, if uh, if you have alkaline conditions, then you're not going to get a carboxylic acid. What you're going to instead get is a salt. So in alkaline conditions, you'll end up with because the alkali will end up reacting with the carboxylic acid. So you're not going to get the carboxylic acid. Okay. so that's that's it so uh, esters can be produced esters hydrolysis okay we did that natural compounds uh it's a purana tha we did that already uh aldehyde ketones we did that in aldehyde and ketones uh, hydrolysis of nitriles uh followed by acidification to produce uh, i'll talk about acidification ke ha ek cheez aisa ke if you if you want uh in this case If you want the acid back again, do you add acid? That's known as acidification. कि आप H plus one में बीच में add करना शुरू कर दो, तो basically your Na plus one will get replaced by H, and you will get the carboxylic acid back again. So under alkaline conditions, it's basically like you're neutralizing the excess NH anyway, if you've added any excess NH. Anyway, ठीक है? Do you eventually get back the carb get back to carboxylic acid? Uh, organic synthesis identify functional groups. Okay, with basic device multi step reactions. Analyze the given in terms of TK. Oh, uh, Bucky and let's call it TK. So I guess we are we're done with we're done with organic. So its ke questions start kar dete hain. Acha make sure uh ke organic ke andar na kitha re. It details those other important, like eighty percent of organic is remembering what happens when you when some reaction happens. Okay, that's it's more about the pathways. Okay, what what goes on? You need evil apart. Eighty percent of organic chemistry is simply this thing. Okay, that's our spider chart. I say eighty percent of organic chemistry is mainly this stuff. Which is over here. You need to know. So you have to memorize all of this. Not just memorize. You have to understand. Okay, like what what happens? Okay, yeah, alkenes ki oxidation or yeah, ठीक है. What happens if you uh, have an alcohol and you oxidize it? It uh, if it's a secondary alcohol, it will turn into a ketone. If it's a primary alcohol, it will turn into an aldehyde. That aldehyde will get further oxidized to carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid can be reduced back to an aldehyde. So, I mean, a lot of it is just. So, if you If you have this chart, the rest of the detail is twenty percent, and they might, I mean, they'll probably go into details as well. But the rest, the mechanisms, etc., that's just twenty percent. You even make other nitriles, car hydrolysis, you get carboxylic acid. So, so we did all of this. So we are going to start. Now, let's get past with questions. Practice, start. So, what is the Latest to start, Kerala. So nine seven zero one. Summer twenty two. Question paper one two. PDF. Let's 
इसकी मार्किंग स्क्रीन खुल गई जिस सेकेंड एक सेकेंड इसको इसको बोले खुले रहने देते हैं अच्छा लास्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन आर मोस्टली ऑर्गेनिक क्वेश्चन वेन यूर डूइंग योर वेन यूर डूइंग योर एम सी क्यूज ठीक है इसको छोटा कर लें अच्छा सो रिवर्स ही स्टार्ट कर लेते हैं so starting with question number 40 this is summer 22 question paper 1 2 so you've got you've got three organic compounds ethanol propen one all propen two two all which compounds will have as a sorry mass spectrum uh this one uh cyclohexene as shown in the diagram can form an addition polymer which structure represents a section of the polymer so so how would it form a polymer remember the polymer gets formed uh, by these double bonds theek hai so i've got i've got कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड कार्बन बट दे काइंड ऑफ लिंक्ड विद कितने कार्बन है दैट्स वन टू थ्री फोर ठीक है सो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर एंड आई आई मूव अवे फ्रॉम द स्केल फॉर्म आई एम गोइंग टू एड द एचएस एज वेल सो दैट्स एच टू एचएस विद दिस वन दिस वन विल हैव वन एच एज वेल तो हाउ डिड द पॉलीमर गेट फॉर्मड बिकॉज यू गोइंग टू हैव टू ऑफ दीज You you're gonna have many of these, ठीक है polymer. So there's CH two. So what will happen is a polymer gets formed, an addition polymer gets formed when these two join up. A beach में जो double bond है ना that's going to go away. ठीक है is this clear? जी sir. Yes. तो कौन सा सही है विच वन डू यू थिंक इज दिस वन सी ए से इट्स दीज कार्बन दैट आर कनेक्टिंग विच इज नॉट ट्रू ये है ना ए में I I think it's C. So actually, you know, what what he has done is just to confuse you. Um, ये वाला जो part नहीं है this one, uh, this entire part. Uh, ये जो नीचे है. ठीक है. He's kind of drawn it upwards. मतलब वो नीचे की तरफ ना, but he's drawn it in the upward direction. Do you get the point? जी सर. Yes, so, uh, so it's the answer is C in this case. That's the next one. So, I'm saying that okay, it's not just polymers. You have to understand as well. Okay, there's a bit, fair bit of understanding as well, and that might makes organic very tricky. Okay, okay. Next is uh, you've got this molecule. Uh, alcohol, seeing alcohol and acid that react to form ethyl butanoate. So, first of all, ethyl butanoate. This is What an ester is. I need to figure out what ethyl butanoate is. So ethyl only side consisted. It was the alcohol side. Eth means how many carbons? Two carbons. So that means the alcohol side has two carbons. That's the ethyl side, right? And butanoate is the double bond over carboxylic acid side. But it's four carbon atoms. So that's uh, one, two, three, and I've got four. And I can add the hydrogens. That's CH three. I got CH two, CH two. टू एच एस विद वन इसको हटा देते हैं एंड थ्री एच एस विद वन सो दैट्स बाय इथाइल ब्यूटन वेट ठीक है सो इट्स गोइंग बी फॉर्म फ्रॉम व्हाट टू थिंग इट्स गोइंग टू बी फॉर्म फ्रॉम अ ब्यूटन वेट एसिड व्हिच इज एंड द अदर वन इज गोइंग टू बी एन एल एथेनॉल मॉलिक्यूल तो आई गेस ए और बी ठीक है ना यस इट्स आइडर ए और बी But I'm not sure about the mass part. As a mass of water formed when two point three two grams. Now, when ester gets formed, one water molecule gets formed, right? So, how many moles of uh, 
esters are getting formed. It's going to be two point C two divided by MR of the ester, which is going to be what? Okay, uh, it's it's got six carbons. That's twelve times six is uh, seventy two. Plus uh, thirty two add करो तो क्या होता है? Thirty two plus thirty two that's a uh, hundred. And two and hundred four. इसकी MR बताओ ना क्या? Hundred four plus uh, three that's hundred seven. And that's hundred eleven. Hundred thirteen and hundred sixteen. ये ये. So what do we get? Two point C two divided by hundred sixteen. Zero point zero two, sir. Exact zero point zero two moles. Exactly. So we got zero point zero two moles. So the amount of water is also going to be zero point zero two moles. Is that clear? Because one ester mm -hmm. produces one water, right? So, uh, multiply it by the MR, which is eighteen. Uh, so what mass do you get? It's eighteen uh, to three. Point three. Point three six, right? Okay, sir. One, two, six. So it's it's going to be A. As so the next one is K, which reaction is a redox reaction? So ethane nitrile heated in reflux with dilute hydrochloric acid. What is this? Is that we we just did this? K hydrolysis of nitriles. That's ethane nitrile is uh, nitrile is this thing CN. So this is ethane nitrile. It will turn into a carboxylic acid. This is not a redox reaction. It's an it's a hydrolysis reaction. Okay, water gets added. So that's the first one. That's not redox. Uh, ethanoic acid with anyways. That's an acid base reaction. Ethanoic acid with sodium. Is that a redox reaction? Kya ethanoic acid? Metal plus acid kya hota? Salt plus H two, right? So is that a redox reaction? Yes, I think so because Na gains oxygen, and H two loses it. The the Na loses electrons. And remember, you do first reaction that metal plus acid produces salt plus H two. That's a redox reaction. That's not an acid base reaction. It's a redox reaction. Although more most acids undergo this reaction, but uh, it's a it's an uh, it's an acid base reaction. It's a, sorry, it's a redox reaction. So C T K. You may either. एड भी कर देता हूं कि जो पहला रिएक्शन था ना द रेस्ट फॉर ऑल एसिड बेस दिस वन इज अ दिस वन ओवर हियर इज अ रीडॉक्स रिएक्शन और इसमें लिख लो कि भी वो एनए अ लूजेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड द एच प्लस वन एंड्स अप It gains electrons, so so this one over here is not a redox reaction. The other one are all acid base reactions. Okay, because wo H plus one lose kar raha, the other one gains H plus one. Okay, so they're all they're all acid base reactions. I see. Let's actually get two for D and P. Is that was a, a test for identification of aldehydes and ketones? Ah, uh, yahan pe kahi tha. The aldehyde ketones kya tha na? Two for D and pH was. What's the pele? This is two for D and pH. I told you identification of carbonyl compounds or aldehyde and ketones. Uh, you get an orange precipitate when you add two for D and pH. Okay. I told you not to. I mean, it's not important to remember the. Although they might ask you this, they can. Most of the time, you just need to know. Okay, how do you identify a carbonyl compounds? It's just two for D and pH. You get an orange precipitate. So. So it's either an aldehyde or a ketone. So. Ketone, aldehyde. Um, so this can't be it. This is an ester. So that gets eliminated. Okay, that's not a carbonyl compound. Uh, EB, that's an ester. Okay, this one is a carbonyl, carbonyl, carbonyl. Okay, and also forms a precipitate when mixed with Fehling's reagent. So what was Fehling? Fehling was that aldehydes will get oxidized. वो पहले था यहाँ पे कॉपी भी किया हुआ है 
aldehyde or ketones the difference jo tha na aldehydes will get oxidized to carboxylic acid why because of felling so we're dealing with an aldehyde so this is a ketone i mean this one is a ketone this one is also a ketone in the middle of a chain wo jo hai na this one is what in what an aldehyde is so the answer is b sahi hai clear hai जी सर यस सर चलो ठीक है कल फिर करते हैं कंटिन्यू ये ऑर्गेनिक क्वेश्चंस ठीक है आई विल सेंड यू दैट हां सर वो एक वीडियो मुझसे नहीं खुल रही हाउस 29 मुझे खुद ही पता है वीडियो का क्या करना है एक सेकंड 29th जी सर उसको ना डाउनलोड डाउनलोड होती नहीं है नहीं हो रही सर सर कैन यू सेंड द इक्वेशन चार्ट द ग्रुप वो मैं भेज दू ठीक है चलो ठीक है मैं उसका देखता हूँ यार उस वीडियो को मैं वैसे शेयर कर देता हूँ अगर मैं ना किसी और तरीके से शेयर करता हूँ ठीक है ओके सर चल ओके अल्लाह अल्लाह सर